and that I think playing against Border this weekend, you know, they haven't had the best um, season as they're on the bottom of the log, but it should be a, a hard game. Um, I know the last time we played them, we, we came off second best, so um, we're going up there as underdogs, if you can say that, but we, we're feeling very confident. You know, we, we still have got a lot of stuff to do ourselves, um, but leading up to that game, we should be going in very confident. Thanks very much. Sweet. Right, uh, Bornwall Gwinji, man of the match performance on the weekend. Uh, how was the game for you? Um, the game was very tough and fast, but yeah, we managed to win the game. I believe we're now fit and confident enough to to win and take on these other coming teams. Uh, Scrum, you and Victor and Simba have been forming a good partnership there uh, to start the game. How how has the scrums been for you, and uh, where can we improve? Um, first scrums were a bit. Can't say they were hard, but it was a bit slippery for me. So yeah, I lost two scrams. So but the other scrams were very hard and hard and tight. So yeah, I believe we've been training hard, we've been working together as a squad to to take on the scrams. Borny's um carrying ability in contact has been very good uh, against uh Borland on the weekend. You were very strong in contact. Uh, what's your secret? <laughs> um, just train hard, it will recover. Nice. Looking yeah. forward to a game against uh, 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 Border on the weekend, uh, potentially with uh, Zim influence. Um, uh, should be exciting. Yeah, it's a good thing we're having a, a new challenge. So we're looking forward to playing Border. And hopefully we're going to scrum well, carry hard and win the game. Thanks, Bornwell. Cheers. Adam Burnett, uh, captain on the weekend against Boyland, uh, first victory in 26 years against the provincial uh, team in South Africa. How did it go? Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a great game. Uh, first half was a little bit edgy, but second half, I, th I thought the boys came came back firing, and to get that W is a massive thing. As you said, 26 years we haven't won against the provincial side, so um, that is a very big bonus um, leading up to this World Cup qualifiers for us. Obviously, the impact of uh, more players coming into camp um, from all over the world now, uh, eyes are starting to turn to France. How's that uh, been? Um, yeah, no, it's looking good. You know, we've got, we've got a few good players coming in. Uh, we've still more to come, but just with the new players coming in and their ability to adapt to um, the structure, the, the type of rugby we want to play is just, it's, 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 it's really good. Um, you know, they, from them coming off on, onto the field into the second half, um, you know, they, they brought that energy, that that understanding of how to win a rugby game from um, being down on the scoreboard. Turning the attention to this weekend, Sunday against uh, Border and then SWD the following Friday. Uh, preps going into that? Um, you know, we, we, we always train to win. So, um, and this is, as we say, our pre-season for the World Cup qualifiers. So, um, mistakes will be made, but we're always looking to go forward and that I think playing its border this weekend.